In my regular job, I'm required to create motion graphics. And lately, I have been requested to create background videos that can loop seamlessly. You know, the ones that you can stare at forever and you will never notice where it starts or where it ends. This is one of the most recent ones that I've created. And today, I want to show you how you can create one by yourself. For that, we're going to use Adobe After Effects. The first thing that you need is an image. And I chose something like this, which is something abstract that has no shape or, you know, something that looks cool. But you need something that if you distort it or if you, you know, twist it and twirl it, it won't lose its beauty and what makes it special. So something like this is needed. I found this in Unsplash under the patterns category. And I will leave the link in the description down below. So I already added the image to a composition in After Effects that is five seconds long. And I already made some adjustments to the image so that it can fit within the proportions of the video and it can also look good. Now, in order to create the movement, we'll have to add some effects to this image right here. So make sure that you have selected your image right here in the timeline. Once you have selected it, let's go to effect, distort, and we'll select turbulent displays. And it'll add this effect here in this tab right here. And this effect, what it does is it will add the movement and, you know, it has a bunch of parameters that we can tweak. Uh, you can leave it as it is. The only thing that we'll take advantage of is this evolution parameter right here. And as you can see, it has a little circle that you can rotate 360 degrees and it will make some movement right here. So if I start turning it, it will create the movement. So what we want to do is to create this turns right here of 360 degrees. So if it's 360 degrees, it will make a complete turn completing this effect of seamlessness in, in the movement. So we're going to take advantage of that. But before that, let's go here under evolution options. And let's make sure that we select this cycle evolution so that the evolution looks, you know, the same every time we turn this 360 degrees. So now let's automate this movement right here. And for that, we have to make sure that we are in the very beginning of the composition here, the first frame of the composition. And now let's add some uh, keyframes. So for that, we're going to click right here in this little uh, watch or clock. And when we click it, it's going to turn blue. Now let's go down here and select the image and then press the U key on your keyboard. So this little keyframe that we have selected is right here. And now, as you can see, the parameter for this keyframe is what really matters the most is this little zero right here, which is the number of turns that it's currently located at. So now let's drag this little arrow right here or playhead to the end of the composition. And now let's add another keyframe. But for that, we're going to select for this evolution to be at one. So this means that in the first keyframe, we'll have zero cycles. And for the next one, we'll have one cycle, which is exactly 360 degrees. So if we play this from the beginning, so there we go. We have some seamless, nice looking movement, which is exactly what we want. Very cool, right? If you found this video useful, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you next time.